Hello everybody, welcome back. We're making a stop today along Historic Route 66 in Hackberry, Arizona. It's just a small community. Um, <laughs> we're going to go check it out. We stopped at the uh, Hackberry General Store and it's a must stop on Route 66. Hackberry is only a very small community. A handful of buildings on the other side of the highway. I think it's a population of about 80 people. And it's heyday. There might have been 300 or so here. So it never was a very big town. But we thought we'd have a stop and look around. Now I'll admit I, I favor Fords, but there are there are some Chevrolets. There are some that I just there's a few that I really, really like. Um it looks like this was an old yeah. The decal on the door says the uh Hack Hackberry Sheriff or Sheriff Hackberry. Old police car. And I'm guessing this is about, my best guess is this is probably a 1967 Chevy Impala. And it says on it. It has a 283. I'm going to guess they didn't come out with a, the uh, 327 hadn't come out yet in that year. But anyway, it is what it is. And of course, it wouldn't be a Route 66, very good Route 66 stop if they didn't have old gas pumps. Mobile gas, back when it was 44 cents a gallon. I haven't seen a I haven't seen a Royal Crown cola machine in a long time. Oh, I didn't bring one of my stickers. I might have to run back and get one. And an old cigarette machine when it was 40 cents a pack. Interesting. An old 7 up cooler. Yeah, needs some. This thing needs some tender loving care, doesn't it? Oh, there's an old outhouse. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like this sign. 300 miles desert ahead. Good luck. <laughs> I love it. That's pretty good. That's how I felt when I left Ely, Nevada, going to, uh, I forget what town it was, heading east from Ely. I remember these old oil can racks. I remember these. Out in Pennsylvania, that'd be usually stacked with Quaker State oil or Penn's oil. I've used I've used one of these a few times in my day. Some very nice signs. I really like those. I mean, that's pretty. That's that's pretty big though. Maybe I didn't have a little like six-inch one. I could use a clock in the RV. I don't know if you'll pick up on it or not in the background. A lot of foreign tongue being spoken here. Um, a lot of tourists, out of the country tourists. Yeah, 
Oh, Route 66 Encyclopedia. That would probably be interesting. Uh, the Ultimate Route 66 Cookbook. I wonder what might be that. This pump was last set at 27 and a half cents a gallon. Nice Texaco pump. Yeah, I guess, you know, there was an operating cafe in here, but it's not operating anymore. Hi, girls. Hey, Elvis. Yeah, I'm currently trying to replace some worn out shirts. I tend to get black shirts. <laughs> Something dark, doesn't show stains. items, a shirt and a sticker. <laughs> so I still put the things in the in the RV and forgot a sticker. <laughs> oh well. The thing is there's places out here that they have uh, zones where they want you to run your headlights. Even during the daytime. It's a safety thing I think. Well that's fine until I pull over and I leave the lights on, make the battery go dead. I've done that once already. I left them on again but I think I caught it in time. Now I really like this display. It's it's really done up as a nice mechanics shop, but hang on, hang on. Yeah, these must have been available car radios. A display with old uh, well, they sold old car radios. Yeah, machines for fixing, or fine tuning, or rebuilding distributors. That thing, Look, old flathead V8. Tire changing equipment, an old tire balancer. Yeah, and this is done up nice because, you know, here's a couple of engines either being replaced or worked on, actually pulled out of the vehicle. A couple old carburetors on the shelf over there. A couple mannequins around. I mean, what, what, uh, Auto or truck repair doesn't have mannequins, right? <laughs> yeah, but I really like this with the with the engines and yeah, a pretty nice display. So through the through the bushes there, there's another one of those old Impalas. There's an old, I believe that's an early. Ford LTD was that an ambassador was that an AMC or a, no, maybe it's a rambler or AMC who made the ambassador I don't know up oh, now here's an old favorite don't see as many of these I believe that tan colored truck is an international harvester maybe it's a Studebaker I don't know that type of grill it's kind of similar to International Harvester. And it is International L130 series. How are you? Old Dodge. Well, I'm sure these are all technically classics. I don't know, the Cadillacs don't do anything for me, okay? that particular year uh, LTD station wagon doesn't do a lot for me <laughs> uh, there's an old I believe that's an Oldsmobile Toronado I believe those were front wheel drives I'm 
see what else I have around here. I don't know. I'm gonna guess a oh it's a rambler. I've seen it before I had to guess. And take the risk of being wrong. I think it's a guy thing. You hate to be wrong when you're guessing your old vehicles, you know. We like to know it all, right? It comes to that sort of thing anyhow. Well we got a bunch of spare parts. A bunch of old fenders and other stuff. <laughs> You know, you never know, even though this is, uh, you know, definitely a tourist stop. Lots of foot traffic around here. You'd think the snakes would be scared off, but you just never know. Still got to be careful. Now, this is kind of cool. An old pulley, old pulley system that carried buckets, concrete in this, this case. Huh, bucket and concrete. And an old defunct windmill. I seen a place where you can buy brand new ones at. Yep, it's still a technology still used to this day. The trouble is there's so many stickers I don't know if I can find room for mine. Okay. I did go back and get one. Okay. Which are still available. If you look down at the bottom of the video description. Instructions on how to get yours is in there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a spot. Yeah, I don't want to climb on anything to do it. I might have to just, it's a popular spot. It'd be nice to put one here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Whoa. I might. Right, here we go. If you ever make it out here to Hackberry. There it is. There it is. There, if you ever make it to Hackberry, me and Bella's got our sticker up there, okay? Look for it. <laughs> this is probably about as about 66 as it gets, I think. You know, it's not overly, it's not overly, um, overly restored you know it still has some old rustic things not everything is shiny and bright you know I almost forgot to point out this is another Ford product okay it's a mercury commuter a little bit of tail fin going on there And a DeSoto. Alright, that's it. We're gonna be on our way. Sorry, Bella, you couldn't come along on this one. Sorry, girl. She says, can we can we get going? Huh? Can we can we get going? <laughs> yes, we're gonna go somewhere. We'll get out and walk and stuff. So that's it, we're back on the road again. If you like the Route 66 sort of stuff, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for coming along today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think that's it. I'll see you next time.